And Oklahoma's going to get the basketball first. Maddie Williams has it. They go inside to Liz Scott. And we were talking to both head coaches, and they said, look, we know each other so well at this point. They know what each other do. They, but the thing is, it's unpredictable between the two because they have the option of shooting the three both teams. And if you try to take away the perimeter shot, then both teams have the ability to drive it to the paint. Emily Ryan, now the veteran point guard, her third year as the starting point guard for Iowa State, number 11 in that Cardinal jersey. This lineup, we talked about Ashley Jones, but Stephanie Suarez has been a huge addition this year for Iowa State, a player like they haven't had. And we heard Rebecca Lobo talk about having the size of Stephanie Suarez in that possession alone. Because of the help inside, that gave time for Ashley Jones to have the shot from the three. Oklahoma, watch number 22, Anna Yanusa. It's been about a year since her surgery. Donarski back to Ryan. Dumps it off to Suarez. Up off the glass. Suarez. Stephanie Suarez, the transfer, transfer from NAIA, the Masters University. Just an incredible year for the Cyclones. They set a record with 28 victories, 14 Big 12 victories. Went to the Sweet 16 and ended up losing to Creighton. And he's recruiting players. Bill Finley is a player that fit his system. So you bring in the size of Shifty Suarez. Oh, no. She immediately is grabbing her left leg. And Suarez down on the other end as Oklahoma hits. Down after shooting. Oh, actually, right there. Mm. So they're going to they're gonna walk her back to the locker room. We'll try to get an update for you on Stephanie Suarez. With Morgan Kane coming in to replace her. How does that change things for Iowa State? Well, Morgan Kane has, she started 30 games last season. She normally had been in the starting lineup. She'll have to play more minutes now with Suarez back in the locker room. Donarski working on top, back to Ryan. Ashley Jones thinks about the three. Jones missing the layup. Janine Fritz trying to come in and get the rebound, but here comes Oklahoma. Taylor Robertson. Yanusa to the corner. Nevaeh top. Iowa State's missed its last four shots. Nymir Du into the game. Six seconds on the shot clock. Lexi Donarski driving baseline, the reigning Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Was the freshman of the year in her first season as a Cyclone. Up and gets the bounce to drop it in. Skyler Van. <laughs> Van looks over at Baranchek and for some reason she says, I'm sorry. So evidently she was supposed to drive it, not just pull, the, pull up for the jumper. Well, she got the points. Exactly. <laughs> That's where you get the relief. Donarski, the step back three, rattles out into the hands of Maddie Williams. Yeah, Donarski, Emily Ryan, they're going to have to pick things up without Suarez because that's another area. Stephanie Suarez is a shot blocker, a rim protector. Not having her inside, that allows Oklahoma to drive. Yeah, she's a big reason why Bill Fenley told us yesterday this has been one of his best defensive teams he's ever had in his 28 seasons at Iowa State. Emily Ryan saw a better opportunity, and she's going to the free throw line. Now all of Iowa State pulled back with Emily Ryan at the free throw line. Yeah, something to note on the floor right now. Ashley Jones, number 24 in Cardinal, and number 20 in White for Oklahoma. Their sisters, Aubrey Jones, playing against each other for the first time. This is a player that started last year and accepted a new role coming off the bench. Now she's got to be an impact. And you see how she's improved her physicality over her time at Iowa State. Posting up inside, they'll use her in screening action. So the defense doesn't come out and respect her shot, can come off that screen of Kane. Is around and this time out for Skyler Van. 
Emily Ryan out with it. Tied up at 10. Inside to Jones. Yeah, and a travels. travel. They have back to Yanusa. Baseline. Pretty shot for Ana Yanusa. It's over 30 days before she was able to, 30, I'm sorry, 332 days. Iowa State's won for its last seven. Maddie Williams will bring it down the floor. Kennedy Tucker puts up the long ball. And nobody's going to the glass. Nobody's going for those second chance opportunities. Both teams worried about the transition. We've only seen two total offensive rebounds so far here in the first quarter. There's one. Donarski. Yes! Lexi Donarski is just that all-around player. She has the defensive assignment of guarding Taylor Robertson, but she also is an athlete. She can drive it. She also can shoot it. Knocking down that three. Bank in from Raina Scott. Jones getting space. Ashley Jones continuing her three-point shooting ways. Remember, she's first in Iowa State history in May threes. The tip by Ryan into the hands of Jones. Travel. One minute to go in the first quarter. Tot feeding Colton. Torres being out of this game. She was 6 6. So she's back over on the Iowa State bench with that left leg wrapped up. Taylor Robertson with the basketball. Oklahoma can take the last shot of the quarter. Big 12 defensive player of the year, though, is Garden Robertson. Tot will take it. Boom! The fan Tot! Emily Ryan tries the heat, but Oklahoma is going to win. One of the things she appreciated about Bill Finley is some coaches. They don't want to talk positive. They went 25 and 9 overall, made the second round of the NCAA tournament last season. She's got Taylor Robertson out there, a sharpshooter, but Robertson hasn't taken a shot yet today. Well, Robertson hasn't been able to get a shot because Lexi Donarski has been all over her, but Nevaeh Tot, number one. Maddie Williams is whistled for her second 10 ACC Super Tuesday doubleheader. Number 14, Wisconsin, hosting Michigan State at 7 p.m. And Izzy Zagaro checks in. And if you're just joining us, Stephanie Suarez went down two minutes into this game with a left leg injury. She's back on the bench, but has that leg iced up. There she is, Taylor Robertson, second all-time in NCAA history in May 3s. Donarski's pass to Jones got caught up in the net. Oklahoma the other way. Robertson oh. feeding Van over to Liz Scott. That's the joy and fun Jeannie Baranchek wants her team to have. They talked about ball movement. They did not have it in the Baylor loss in their last outing. How about that? Lexi Donarski. Robertson at the free throw line. Ashley Jones never stops. Ashley Jones. 12 points for Ashley Jones. Four rebounds. And she's back for her fifth season. Ashley Jones wanted to really work on having higher value going into the WNBA. She loves college. Uh, let me think about that. Duh! Zagaro. Jenny Baranchek said she, she had to just see how the flow of the game was going to go. Was it paint? 
Or was it perimeter? It's been paint. That's the 14th point in the paint for Oklahoma. The top two offenses in the Big 12. Nightmare here, do be patient. Well, somebody else has got to help out at, for Iowa State. Help out Lexi Donarski and Ashley Jones. Those are the two. Donarski's got eight. Jones got 12. In Oklahoma, that's what Jenny Baracek has been looking for. Is her team, players not feeling the pressure, one, having to do it by themselves, but doing it collectively and all being able to contribute. Share the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and then Oklahoma is up. 14 to 8 points in the paint. Stephanie Suarez went down with injury, and you see her there over back on the Iowa State bench. She's got that left leg wrapped up. She's having a tremendous season this year, and her her value, her draft value was was continuing to rise to the WBA draft. Eight seconds now for Emily Ryan. Right off the screen from Kane, kicks to do in the corner. Nightmare do. And then her basketball IQ, she knows how to take advantage of her opponents and how she's guarded. Bill Finley described her as kind of got the, but she still was able to knock down four threes. The two previous games, she hit six threes apiece. The last three games, she's averaging 16.7 points per game. Two got the first of the free throw line. That's the second to it. Bill Finley's having to move his chess pieces around to find different ways to score, adjusting without his 6 6 center in the lineup. For Oklahoma, they've relied a lot on paint points, but they've also hit four threes. Fan! Skyler Fan back up and in. You see the encouragement that Ginny Baranchek is giving to her team after when. Man was coming down the floor. She looked over to her head coach and she got that extra encouragement. Maybe didn't see that the full game against Baylor. It like lit up in the middle, bringing some energy together. Yeah. Good visualization. We got a lot of energy between that. I'll check on Amazon though. Of, of course you will. Yeah. Dew is the only one that has real true size inside defending for Iowa State. Time! Tuck said, I don't need size. I got that outside jumper. Shot clock still on for Ryan. Five seconds. Ashley Jones is covered up by Van. And Oklahoma's defense is going to force a shot clock violation. They give it up to Todd. She turns it over to Ryan. One point game at the half. Iowa State up 30. Stephanie Suarez for Iowa State went down about two minutes into this game, favoring her left leg. We are told she is questionable re to return. They don't think she will play again today. Tanarski working on Robertson. Ryan gets held up at the free throw line. Eight seconds for Morgan Kane. Can't go over her defender, Liz Scott. That's where Kane just is not able to be as efficient inside. As, as they would be if Stephanie Suarez was on the floor. Look at the relentless effort from Liz Scott. Oklahoma has been intentional about going inside and getting paint points. But Avery, look, there's a stat that's here that I am so shocked and surprised. As much as Oklahoma has gone inside, they have not shot a free throw today. Yeah, that is surprising. Meanwhile, Iowa State is 11 for 12 from the free throw line. Colton was a, it, she made her presence felt in that first half. She's posting up big, calling for the ball down low for Oklahoma. 
They got off to a much better start. I think their biggest problem against Baylor is they spotted the Baylor Bears 16 in that first quarter. And they trailed 21 to 5 at the start. Foul off Kane, but Robertson only has three points. She's taken two shots. Maddie Williams it rolls around and out at a foul. I believe that I don't think she'll go in the first round, but I think she could be a second or third rounder that could make a roster if she gets into camp for the right team. She's a guard that's willing to rebound. One of the areas that Jenny Brodjek said she's talked to GMs about, they want to see if she can shoot it consistently. She said Maddie Williams has a beautiful, a beautiful stroke, but she doesn't always have to use it playing in this system. They need her more attacking the basket and being available to get on the glass. So she comes out with a rebound. The miss by Ashley Jones. Feeding Yanusa. How about that little dime? I mean, if she's a smart player, Maddie Williams, but she's got to be aggressive and stay out of foul trouble. Yes. And she got in some foul trouble against Baylor. Do get stopped by Williams. Up ahead to Yanusa. Robertson just covered up by Donarski, but blows past her. Taylor Robertson with her second field goal. She's got five. Iowa State looking for its first field goal here in the third quarter. They're over six. And Oklahoma changing up defense is going a little zone. Ten seconds. Ashley Jones with the three. No. Yanusa down the floor. Back to Tot. Yeah, oh, yeah. And there's something for everybody. Did you see the very last one? The marching bands. You yeah. can even... Get your snacks. We talked to Taylor Robertson this morning, and, and she said, you know, everybody talks about how many points we score, but she said we defend. First field goal in the third quarter, thanks to Nightmare Dew for Iowa State. Ana Yanusa right in the paint, and that's where Oklahoma has been thriving today. She is such a great story coming back after all the injuries and what she's able to do on the floor right now. When she stepped back out on the floor, she was an instant value. It's uh, a lot of responsibility. Yeah, she got the keys to the bus right away. It's a big bus. <laughs> got to fit a cyclone in it. And Bill Finley has told her, look, you, you are a scoring point guard. She's got to look for opportunities to score, not just distribute. Van shot out. Rebound by Ashley Jones up to Donarski. Going all the way, Lexi Donarski. Ten points for Lexi. Got to believe Iowa State wants to pick up the tempo of this game, but they got to get back on transition defense. Van had seven points in the loss to Baylor. She's already got six points here and eight rebounds. Tied back to Yanusa for three! And for Ana Yanusa! They need an answer on the road right now. They wanna, don't want to allow this crowd to get into it. Diane Williams inside, guarded by Fritz. Second chance. There's two points for Maddie Williams. Seven rebounds, two assists. And I would say 14 of 15 from the free throw line. Inside to do. Aubrey Jones. It's really a three-headed leadership board with Maddie Williams, Taylor Robinson, and Anna Yunusu. Taylor Robinson brings the passion to play for the game. Maddie Williams brings the intensity. 
But it's Yunusa who's like, I ain't want to check out what everybody else needs. Make sure everybody else is okay. You know, Taylor Robertson told us those three, they all have that winning mentality. Get the score or get yourself to the free throw line. <laughs> overtime game in Bloomington, Indiana. Could we have one here in North, Norman, Oklahoma? I mean, it's been close. It was Oklahoma leading by a point at the end of the first quarter. Iowa State led by a point at halftime. Swiss for Kennedy Tucker. Seven threes for Oklahoma. About a five second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. And this double high screen, the two setting the screen, one's going to pop high, the other one's going to slip to the basket. Jones working harder than Yanusa, but it's tipped away. Oklahoma ball. 4.5 on the clock. Plenty of time. Got to get it in. Yanusa. The deep three. Anna Yanusa making it look easy. freshman team and was, had, had high hopes of making a major impact on this program but it just seemed like each season after that she had to overcome those obstacles you talked about the ACL and how tough that was but she had lost a step she's back on the court other than wearing that brace she's been able to move she's been able to be effective and she brings tremendous confidence on the floor for these Oklahoma Sooners. Courtney and Ashley Pears, and she's like, I wanted to be them. Now, she knew that she was never going to play that position, but she said for some reason, at six years old, that's, that's who she looked up to. Oklahoma had runs of 6-0, 7-0, and then 6-0 again in that third quarter. Sister versus sister. Her shot rolls around. You think she's taken Ashley one on one a few times in her day? Five of the Jones sisters. Now the oldest Courtney played at Illinois. Donarski just a clear lane to the basket. Van out to Tot. Saves it on one foot. The five of state's going to make the run. They need to do it now with Yanusa and Maddie Williams on the bench. Skyler Van! Inbounds play. Two points. Janerski. Eight points. They're up to 18 now. And they can score. Chipping this lead with the clock stop. Emily Ryan got open. Crushed it. I like that shot fake. Knew the defense was going to be flying at her. That's just the second field goal by Ryan. The pass from Maddie Williams over to Colton. There's Ashley Jones. She's got 20 points, six rebounds. Inside to Kane to Donarski for three. Had all the time to sit there and wait for it. If Donarski gets it all lined up, you can forget about it. Look, and Iowa State can be a dangerous three-point shooting team. I know their three-point shooting isn't what it was last season. Taylor Robertson at the free-throw line. Lunarski's hit three. Ashley Jones. Taylor Robertson, all three. She's going to get her three points at a time, one way or the other. Yeah, Iowa State's defense has done a, done a very good job of keeping the ball out of Taylor Robertson's hands and not letting her get a shot off. She's just two for four from the field. Crossover by Janarski. Oklahoma head. Oh. Now, Maddie Williams has the responsibility of Ashley Jones, so Drew's going to be the option. That puts her at 14 points. Her career high is 15. One possession game.
Emily Ryan waiting in the corner. There was a blocking foul called on Taylor Robertson, not on the shot. Jones working on time. There's a mismatch inside. They switch on those ball screens, so they'll keep running that until they get the mismatch that they want. Less than five minutes left to go in the game. And nobody waiting at the table. Ryan's going to stay out there. That's the point guard for Iowa State. Now, if you're, in, if you're Oklahoma, you can't let Ashley Jones touch the basketball. The steal by Yanusa. Whips it around Emily Ryan. Give her two. Iowa State won both meetings against Oklahoma last season. She's hit three threes. She missed her first. the second. Remember, too, Iowa State's point guard, Emily Ryan, is out there with four fouls, so she has to be cautious. It's number 11 in Cardinal. Aubrey Jones through a double team. You know Aubrey Jones wants to get this win playing against her former team and her sister. Danae Fritz. Her first point are a three and that's 10 made threes for Iowa State. Williams getting her own rebound. And all kinds of traffic stopped by Fritz. Iowa State with its first lead since the 836 mark in the third quarter. Fritz again, short. There's just been more Intensity inside. Aggressive. Oh, nice cut. The kick out to Jones for the three. That would have been huge for Iowa State. Oklahoma has missed its last five shots. They haven't scored in over two minutes. Dude's gotten tougher in the paint, defending inside. Now Fritz has Maddie Williams. The take from Skylar Van. Emily Ryan almost carried it. Instead, she's going to lay it in. Benny Williams working on Fritz. Williams has struggled offensively today, but we haven't seen that let the other interfere with the other aspects of her game. She has been willing to mix it up with the bigs in the paint. Under 90 seconds to play. Emily Ryan with the other four and the other end, talking to the team about he, how defensively they've got to stay locked in. Iowa State has scored 22 points at the free throw line today. Yanusa with the quick three. My goodness, Anna Yanusa almost automatic. A minute to go. Jones sees an opening. Count it. Ashley Jones to the free throw line. Ana Yanusa is four of nine from three. And this three was contested. You watch. She comes. You got two Iowa State Cyclone players coming at you. She says, no problem. When she released it, she was headed the other direction. She knew it was good. Iowa State in the lead. 
tension starting to rise here in Norman. Oklahoma needs to look to get something going to the basket unless it's Anna, Anna Yunusa. Here goes Todd. Nevaeh and Todd going to the basket. Oklahoma up by a point, and Iowa State is going to call timeout. They've been successful going to the basket. They've been able to get to the free throw line. Oklahoma, they're going to try to get a five-second clock, five-second count. Kelly Ryan inbounds it to do, and she'll come and get it. Oklahoma doesn't have to foul. Ryan working on Tucker. Back out to Jones. Ashley Jones spinning all the way around and misses. Fights Maddie Williams with a rebound, the put back by Ashley Jones. Oklahoma not going to use the timeout. They're just going to bring it. Iowa State up by a point. Back the other way, Skyler Van. The finish go up one. And then how is it that Ashley Jones is the one that has to come down and defend on the other end after she just scored? Iowa State down by a point, seven, 2.2 seconds. They get it back to Jones and she's stopped by Maddie Williams. Timeout, Oklahoma. Yeah, got a foul. You got a foul right away. See if they can force the five second call if you're Iowa State's defense. They get it in, and immediately Taylor Robertson is fouled by Fritz. So go ahead and make as many as you can. <laughs> Upstate's got a box out. Just in case. Robertson gets them both. Kimberly Ryan to inbound. Number two takes the three, and I think it was tipped. Boomer Sooner, Oklahoma! 